Hello, my name's Claire and I work for Blue Cross. This is my dog Nubo. Welcome to our muzzle training video. Before we get started with the training, I'm just going to show you a few of the muzzle types that you'll see on the market today. These are Baskerville style muzzles and these are the sorts of muzzles that we recommend. They enable dogs to receive treats, they can pant normally, they can exercise normally. You may see these muzzles as well, these are fabric type muzzles. Unfortunately, they're not the sorts of muzzle that we recommend for everyday use. Dogs are unable to open their mouths properly, unable to pant, um, so they can quickly overheat, which is particularly dangerous in the summer. So we certainly don't recommend that you exercise dogs with these muzzles. Also, they can nip as well, so not as safe as this style muzzle. Don't forget, if your dog does have a problem, it's your responsibility as your dog's owner to make sure that he's safe. So this is stage one of our muzzle training. We're going to train Nubo to wear this comfortably using some really, really strong rewards. It really pays to take your time when doing this training because this is a, could be a potentially really scary thing for Nubo to have on his face. Let me demonstrate. Scary, hey? A really important part of muzzle training is just helping your dog get used to the odd sensation of the muzzle around its face. What I'm going to do here is um, put some peanut butter right at the bottom of the muzzle. This will be irresistible to Nubo and he'll be really encouraged to stick his muzzle into the muzzle. You can use peanut butter like I'm doing here because he loves it, squeezy cheese or pate and this will really really help him get used to the sensation. So as you can see Nubo's really interested in the peanut butter here and what I'm going to do is tip it the other way so he can stick his nose in and get the peanut butter which he really likes. This is a really easy part of muzzle training, it can be really enjoyable for your dog. You can do this while you're watching television, listening to the radio, just sitting down. Just take as much time as you possibly can just so your dog gets used to the really unusual sensation of what that feels like around his face. The other thing that you'll want to do as well is get your dog used to the sound of this snap. Some dogs won't be used to this, so it can be a little bit scary. So you can do this while your dog's licking peanut butter or cream cheese off of the muzzle, or you can feed them once you've made that snap. Yes! So what I'm doing here, Nubo is now used to putting his nose into the muzzle to lick the peanut butter. So what I'm doing now is rewarding him, yes, by using a word yes when he's putting his nose into the muzzle. So he's learning that when he puts his nose in there, yes! Not only does it taste good because there's a little bit of peanut butter in there, but I'm giving him an additional reward of some nice tasty cheese. To make this a little bit harder for Nubo, what I'm going to do is move, yes, good boy. So I'm going to move the muzzle around so he has to put that extra bit of effort in. Yes! If you throw the treats away from you, it encourages your dog to come back even more. Yes, good boy! So turning into a really nice game for him. His body language is lovely and soft. He's having fun. Good boy. Look at that lovely tail wag. Yes. So what I might want to do now is actually encourage him to keep his nose in there for a little bit longer before I reward him. Yes. And again, because there's a little bit of peanut butter in that still, he's still getting that taste when his, no when his nose is in there. Make sure you resist the temptation to go and chase your dog with a muzzle. Always come back. Yes! I really want Nubo to know what muzzle is, so I'm going to start incorporating that in my training. Muzzle! Yes, good boy! Muzzle! Yeah, look at his tail, look at his tail. Yes, good boy. What I want to do now is spice this up a little bit. So I want to incorporate this muzzle training into my normal everyday training that I do with him. So it's really, really fun and it's something that we do together regularly. Bebo, close. Good boy, sit. Good, sit. Nubo, muzzle. Yes, good boy. Very, very good. Nubo, twist. Good boy, muzzle. Yes, and look at that body language. Look how much he's enjoying himself. Nubo, muzzle. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. You see how keen he was to do that, which was fantastic. He's really enjoying this. This is not a negative experience for him, which is really what we encourage you to do. Make this as fun and positive. Close. Good boy. Sit. Yay. Down. Nubo, muzzle. 
Yes, good boy. Think of the difference this would have been had I just put this on his face. It's a little tricky to push treats through the bars of these muzzles, so what you can do is take away this bit here. As you can see, this is just a small square, so you don't compromise the safety of the muzzle, but it just means that you can pop treats through there. It's a lot easier. So what I'm doing here is I'm just getting Nubo used to the sensation of the straps around his neck. Yes! Again, this is a new thing for him. He's not had this before. It, it pays to take your time over this. Yes! Some dogs might be a little bit uncomfortable because the muzzle strap is a lot higher. It rests a lot higher than a normal collar. So just massage these bit here, get him used to it. Yes! Again, because I'm using really high value food, I'm using some chicken now. He's really enjoying this training. Muzzle. And because I've cut that little bit away from the muzzle, I can feed him through there. Takes a little bit of work, a little bit of getting used to. Good boy. So lots of treats around this time because this is all a bit new. It's got to stay on his face a little bit longer now. So I really, really want to heavily reward him for tolerating this and being really fine about it. See what he's doing now? It's very normal. Lots of dogs will do this because they're trying to scratch it off their face. Don't panic. The really important thing is Yay! Very clever! It's when he stops doing it, reward him. Running around a little bit encouraging to me. Yay! He's a very clever boy. Very clever boy. So what I'm going to do now is take the muzzle off and this is really important. What I don't want to do is really reward him when I take this off. Attention should stop now. I'm going to stop feeding him. He's a little bit disinterested in me now. All the fun and all the positivity comes from when he's got this on his face. Muzzle, yay, good boy. Dogs that wear muzzles generally need to be on the lead too. So it's really important that I incorporate the muzzle training with lead training. So let's go and do some. Come on, Noobs. Sometimes it takes a little bit of practice coordinating yourself and managing to put the treat through the muzzle whilst the dog's moving. So it's a good idea to ask them to sit and then feed them through the muzzle. For dogs that scrabble at the muzzle, try and get it off, a really good tip is to keep them moving. Noobs, come on, good boy. This really helps take their mind off what's actually occurring. Good boy. Muzzles do a lot more than stop dogs using their teeth. The best thing they do is that they act as a signal to other people that you're taking responsibility for an issue that your dog might have. For this reason, we recommend that you always choose a muzzle that will stand out on your dog. This dog is wearing a black muzzle, which is really hard to see. Compare it to the same dog wearing a muzzle that contrasts with the coat. It stands out from a distance. Look at this typical scenario. Nubo isn't wearing a muzzle here and the man with the other dogs is completely unaware that either he or his dogs might be at risk. Here, Nubo is wearing a muzzle and as you can see, it is clearly doing its job. As soon as the man notices it, he moves away, giving us the space that we need, all without me having to say a word. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope you found it useful. If you'd like any more information on Blue Cross, then check out our website.